I'm a spine surgeon and a scientist uh, within the Department of Orthopedics at Washington University, uh, Barnes-Jewish. I treat really all conditions of the spine, whether it's degenerative or traumatic or um, pathologic, like uh, tumors and things of that nature. So my main interest is in treating patients with spinal tumors. Uh, those can be uh, metastatic tumors, meaning they spread from somewhere else and now they're in the spine. Uh, or those can be primary tumors, meaning they arose right there in the spine. And um, I underwent pretty specific training for that reason, because of that interest. The residency was in uh, orthopedic surgery, and then I did a fellowship at Johns Hopkins focusing on complex spinal surgery and spinal tumors in the neurosurgery department. And the reason is because primary spinal tumors are pretty rare, and, um, and you really need to be at a, a specialty center uh, to get care for those. Uh, and so that's why I underwent that particular type of training. My main uh, research interest is in metabolism, and uh, my uh, PhD was in uh, actually muscle physiology and metabolism. So I come at things with a slightly different, uh, different angle, I'd say, than, than many of my colleagues. Um, and my focus now is on metabolism of tumors, specifically spinal tumors, uh, and also metabolism of the intervertebral disc, uh, which is an area that we've even in the last year, learned a tremendous amount about. Um, and so those, that is the focus of my lab currently uh, and, and will be for the near future. When I see a patient that uh, has a problem, it's not just me they're getting, uh, they're getting my opinion, but oftentimes uh, we'll present that patient at conference and they'll get all of us weighing in, uh, which is really, really um, good for patient care. So I think that's, uh, a really strong point about this place. Uh, and then beyond that, I think the, the culture's unique. The culture's unique in that, um, you know, we have a department with uh, pure PhD scientists uh, on the 11th floor in our building who, uh, they're some of the best scientists in the world. And that's not, they're not some of the best orthopedic scientists, they're not some of the best scientists, you know, in a school, there's some of the best scientists in the world. Uh, and, and that relationship is, um, you know, that's hard to beat, to have that level of, of clinical care, that level of science, all in one place and all working uh, is, is really unique. When I'm counseling a patient that has a difficult or challenging problem, the most important thing I can do for them is listen because, you know, as a surgeon, it's very easy to think about the surgery and, and the mechanics because we spend so much time perfecting that. Sometimes it's harder to fit that with the patient's life and where they are in their, in their pathology or, or in their personal life. And so I think the, the, you know, one of the most important parts of my interaction, I think, with a patient is kind of hearing who they are, where they're coming from, and trying to make that really part of the care. So I understand uh, what their expectations are, I understand what their limitations are, and how, how I fit into that and how I can help. And sometimes it's not surgery. You know, sometimes we have, that t we have a talk and I meet them, and uh, I saw their scans and I thought it'd be surgery, and then I see how they function and I hear about their life and what they want and don't want, and, um, and then sometimes it's not surgery, and that's okay too. Um, but I think if you're not listening, then, then it gets a lot harder.